to Subnautica Blow Zero. Uh, last we left off, we got a bunch of eggs and we got a terrarium, and now we've got to hatch some babies. Also, VTube Studio, how dare you? Get out of here. Shoo. Always messing my game up. But, anywho, though. Yeah, we've got a bunch of little babies in the tank here. Literally. And we're off to explore and see what's going on. But, yeah, let me know how you guys have been doing in the chat and what's been going on in your neck of the woods. I know I saw you yesterday, Cat, because you were amazing. And I love that you're here all the time. But for anybody else that might show up, you know. Well, first things first. We save because it's a America. <laughs> you never know. We got a bunch of babies. Cool. Alrighty, so we have got our super truck. What were we working on? That's the first important question. In terms of blueprints, we are always building our base up. That's always a thing. Trying to get good at Blender? Nice. You know, getting, getting good at something like that is actually a great skill. Like, really, you know? Uh, don't need that because I don't even have a moon pool. And I don't have the parts for the prawn yet. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember, where is it that I build... Oh, right, the modules are built on the platform. That's right. Which is somewhere. Inventory check. Nope. Hold up. Before we get going, we need to dump some inventory here. Didn't I have a. I thought I put a locker in here. I guess I didn't. That's bizarre. Feels like I put one here. Huh. Okay, well. Let's see. Eh. This patchway might be a little cramped for this. Oh, there we go. Nice. Cool, now we can drop all this in here and go off into the deep again. No, I don't think we're going to need all these power cells. I think keeping one with us, not a bad idea. Uh, same with the batteries. We really don't need that many batteries. Two? Two's, two's alright. Okay. So, objectively speaking, we are still trying to go a little bit deeper. I think we can, but I kind of feel like we're less inclined to follow the plot and more inclined to just screw around and find out. <laughs> kind of feels like that's really where we're at. What is that recipe that's on here? Okay, still need to get... Uh, wait, don't I have the parts for that? I might actually, hold on. I mean, there's quartz. Titanium. I need glass and a computer chip. I feel as though I had a computer chip somewhere. Haha, <laughs> I did. I did indeed have a computer chip somewhere. Now, do I have glass? Feels like I've been using a ton of glass recently. Can't do that. Uh, we already have that. Wait, do we have that? I think we have that. I'll have to check. Okay. Uh, we do indeed have glass. Look at that! We can actually use our scanner room more efficiently now. 
Woohoo! Oh, wait, it's not even an upgrade, it's... Fabricator, there we go. Cool. Oh, I have to man- Ugh. I have to go manually take it out there, jeez. Well, that's fine though. This will definitely help us out. Okay. Let's climb on out. And let's plug it in. Nice. Welcome aboard, Captain. Like to hear that. All right. So we want our scanner back. And now, yee, we can do it. Uh, but the question is, where do we want to go? Because I feel as though the distance, hmm. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before we get too crazy with this. The last known position, we've got that pretty well scouted, I feel like. No, avoid the sea monkey. I I already kind of know what's going to happen with that. <laughs> oh boy. There's a lot of sea monkeys here. Okay, we're starting to lose uh, camera clarity, so we have to come back some. Okay. Oh, uh, this would probably work. This is a good distance. Hopefully right here, nobody will mess with this. I think this is solid. Heck yeah. Now, what can we find? There's silver, titanium. Sorry if you hear the helicopter. It's rather loud. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, what do we want to get? Because we kind of don't really need anything in particular at the moment. I guess fragment searching is not bad. Fragment searching can help us find uh, other materials that we're currently missing. Why do you keep glitching? It's weird. Alright. Alright, away we go. Pangling, no! Why would you do that to yourself? Okay, let's go snag some fragments. First one. Because the world is cold, but the water is warm. It is amazing how many fragments are just hanging out up here. 
Okay. Mm Gotta go deep for that stuff. Right. Oh, I need to leave the frag liner. Great is that? Uh, Mark one, actually. So we do need the Mark two. Okay. And wait, didn't we have the materials for that one? One sec, gotta check that out. Of course, it doesn't show up. Bollocks. <laughs> oh wait, here we go. Here we go. Mark two. We need enamel, glass, ruby. Um. Actually, we kind of have all those things. Don't know if we have enamel glass. Hold on. Back to the base real quick. Well, actually, we'll, we'll grab these couple fragments I see first. And then back to the base. Sorry, fishy. Go. Yep, definitely doing my my due diligence here. By collecting all these fragments, I am cleaning up the ocean and repurposing. Ouch. Lots of sea glide fragments, so jeez. It's good though. It just means more materials to make the base. Mwahaha. <laughs> okay. Back to the frag bird. Oh, come on, Pangly. As on you. I mean. Alright. So I believe these exit the tube. Come on. Out with you. Jeez. Crash fish egg discovered, sea monkey egg discovered. That was fast. Um, enameled. Enameled stuff. The enameled thingamabobber. Uh, lead and diamonds. Okay. Okay. Lead, diamond, ruby. Wait, need those fibers. Come here. Fibers. And... Wait, didn't I? Oh, I thought I put that on there. There we go. And glass. Well, as it so happens, glass requires two quartz. And I have two quartz. So, let's do it. Hey, congrats on the catch. Right, enamel glass. Oh, I forgot to pull that out of there. Oopsies. And I'll take me just a sec. Huh. More eggs, eh? Okay. Hup, 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 hup. Yay! Look at him go. <laughs> that is so adorable. Can I scan you guys?
Oh, I <laughs> just pick up my baby. This is so cute. <laughs> Oh, here you go. Here you go, little guy. They're so adorable. They're like all like playful and everything. Oh, they do gradually eat the plants. Okay. Good to know. You're trying to take my tool, aren't you? That's adorable. Hey, right. note to self: need to make sure I get some more um, plates to put in here. All right, sea truck. I require your upgrades, but I can't get to them from here. It's a bit annoying. Oh well. Puppy monkey baby. Yeah, they're so cute. No! Why do you just do that to yourselves? Come on! <laughs> Bruh. Pangling, why, buddy? It wasn't worth it. Get out of it. Come on. Out. Oh, that way. Come on. I wanted, to, I wanted to, like, propulsion cannon this thing or something. I don't know. It's gonna be all like goofy about it. Man. Rip. There we go. That makes me so sad. Like, all I had to do was just not go in there. That's what I had to do. Alright, Sea Trek Death Upgrade Mark 2. Yeah. And Mark 3 is not going to happen for a while. Which is fine. Thanks, cat. How weird that that didn't show up on my chat. Huh. Oh, there it is. It just really lagged behind. Back to the frag liner. Huh. I wonder if that's to help you back out of here so things like running over a pangling doesn't happen. Is it like just stuck? It just won't. It won't leave? No? It's like... It's like frame locked. Just cannot go past that point. Man. I'm not moving my whole friggin' sea dog for this. Ugh. Crest depth, 650 meters. Man, that's deep. Okay, I need to find my my modification platform. Where'd it go? Did I bring it all the way back here? Where did I set that thing? There it is. That. 
Why isn't I meant to hit it all? There we go. Okay, so modules. We got we actually got a bunch to work with here. Uh, okay, we can't make the sleeper. The storage module would be very useful. I don't have lead though. Hmm. Hmm. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and adjust the scanner, and we'll go for lead. Welcome aboard, Captain. Assuming I can find lead. Uh, negative. Hold on. Legend data, silver, titanium, gold, titanium. Galena, that's the one. There we go. Oh yeah, I should go and re-equip that real fast. All right, Galena outcroppings. Where are they be? Oh, there's a couple. All right. If I can get the sleep, or not the sleeper module, if I can get the, uh, the module take with me for that, that's going to be amazing. Be able to store stuff. It'd be super helpful. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hmm, this is just titanium. Hey, RK Peeper. Two lead. Three lead. There we go. That's what I needed for that. Not good. It's gone. Good job, robots. I assume you're the ones that cleaned up the mess. Excellent. Alright, so we needed a wiring kit and a plastic ingot. Wiring kits, pretty sure I've got some already. Plastic ingot, not as confident. I have a titanium ingot, which is part of a plastic ingot. Oops. Uh, lithium. I need lithium for that. Okay. Do I have lithium? Next question on the list. Um, the answer seems to be no, currently. Okay, no lithium there. Titanium, titanium, gold, silver. No, nope, no lithium. I feel like I'm shoestringing along here with just a little bit of here and a little bit there.
Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, I don't have a thing on where to find lithium. Hmm. Weird. I, I feel like I found lithium somewhere before. Where? Hmm. Well, be that as it may. I guess for now, we're not going to worry about it. For now, we're just going to go out there into the blue yonder. Also, go quick. I want to put all of that there. Um, not going to need that. The rest of this, entirely possible. That, not likely. Hmm. I keep the sea glide just to be safe. All right, so our mission to get out there and go deep. Our second mission, to get plants that we can bring back to feed our young. Oh. And my titan fish, my titan whole fish just grew up. Nice. Alrighty, so... Do, 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 do. The pilot last known position is that way. Doc is that way. I'm gonna strike out this way and see what we end up with. Cause now we we can go like extra deep. Oh, there's a fragment. Nice. No, oh, just not a sea glide. Also. Um, I need to do cutlings, which I can do by doing this, right? Oh, no, the creep vines I don't, wait, no, the creep vines I can grow in there. Never mind. There you go. Take a creep vine. And a violet bow. And I think that's it for now. Right, proceeding onwards. Uh, Titan whole fish, as I recall, actually would probably eat these. Ooh, I've been there. That's new. So what? Pilot uh, Bosi, creep vine sample, edible anemone. Meh. It may be edible to me, but it's edible to them. I don't think I've been over here. This looks very different. I have not been over here. Huh. Nope. Hey, give me my cords. Jerk. Once again, you're not a jerk. You're actually a pretty cool guy. I really like these guys. Um, what's in this one? Layer. Meh. Ooh, this one would look nice in the in the place. Back to the frag liner. 
We shall continue on. What is that? Pa oh, Pathfinder tool. Oh, I actually did not have that tech at all. Huh. Could be handy. Well, let's see. Sea monkeys are so much fun. I love them so. So, interesting that there's a Pathfinder tool with it. I would assume that means there's probably something interesting down this way. And this is all entirely unexplored to me. Yeah, come on, buddy. Regret your life decisions. Short though it may have been. Oh, come on. I can fit through there. Alright, there we go. What is in this cave system? Well, I mean, I know it's in this cave system. It's almost in, it's almost entirely going to be sea monkeys, but... Oh, wait. Have I been through here? This feels... Kind of reminiscent to another cave system I went through. Huh. Let's see. Let's see how deep we can go, because it... We can go pretty deep. But how deep does it go? Is that a sea... Is that a sea monkey egg? There we go. Hey, give me that. Give me my silver. <laughs> you know, I already have a bunch of sea monkeys. Actually, I'll leave that one alone. There we go. Okay. What? There's another wreck. Propulsion cannon fragment. Very interesting. I can't help but notice recently that they've gotten a lot grabbier. Is this cannibal? No. Okay. Well, that was the deepest part of this, apparently. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. It seems like the sea monkeys don't really like to go deep. Eh. Wait a minute. That's just quartz. Oh yeah, I forgot using my head. Uploaded to PDA. Crossing. <laughs> Woo, it's hot. That ancient artifact's actually pretty close. How do I get to it? Oh, come on. I'm just getting caught on everything, but then again, that's what I get for running a truck through here. <laughs> okay. So, interesting just volcanic thing, but where is this artifact? This dead ends. Wow. 
Wow. I'm impressed. I let him do his worst, and he actually did pretty good there. Yeah, there we go. Already been there. Kind of annoyed that Alan decided to tell me about this after. Okay, 80 meters below here. Huh. There is nowhere else to go here. Oh, there's another next, another nest. <clears throat> hmm. My, you guys, jeez. Why do you want my lead? <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's like directly under me, but I I cannot reach that area. So that means it's got to be outside of here somewhere. I assume. Of course, the next question is, how do I even get out of here? Yeah, almost. There we go. Really got to squeeze to get out. Okay. Yes, for as awful, as awful as that sounds, it's actually not that bad damage-wise. The one crash fish did more damage than this has. Alright, we are back in this room. Dang it. I'm starting to understand why the Pathfinder was a thing. Oh, there we go. You can make it. You can make it. There we go. Nice. Alright, so we got that artifact there, and then that one. And then that one is there. Okay. Alright, so we're looking for... Oh. Well, we weren't looking for that, but we'll take that. Sure. You? You! Stop it! Why does your elves obsess with stealing my lead? So, artifact is 148 down from this point. I'm pretty sure that just goes back to where I was. Well, let's see. Oops. Okay. Yeah, this looks like the same cave system, so no dice. Not there. Hmm. 
right. We'll go this way. I have no markers or any indicators going this way, so let's check it out. This is one thing I do enjoy doing a lot of. Just being like, and that away. We go. It's like, what's that way? Eh. One way to find out, though. I wonder if there's any ore veins around here I haven't found. It's entirely possible. Uh, okay. Looks like this is just one. Very solid ice shelf. Can't do much with it. Dang. Is that it? No. Okay. Just a bit of a graphical imperfection. It looked like it might have been an ore vein. It was not. Oh, what's this? Huh, it's a brain wing egg. Also, I may have been wrong. There may be aura veins like that. Hmm. Go. Let's see. This is a very hard bounded area. Like, very, very little room for interpretation of what might or might not be over this way. Um, interesting. I do not have a prawn suit yet, but good to know. I'm mean, gonna I do. I almost do. I'm really close. Just need one more chunk, I believe it is. Keep in mind, holes in the ice may lead to surface areas you haven't been to before. Oh, I know. Um, I'm fully... Oh, you're talking about in the other place? Yeah. For now, I mean, that's fine. I don't want to leave my sea truck behind. That's not really the mission I'm on right now. Um, if I find, like, iceberg holes, though, that's a different story. I was like, congrats on the catch. Ooh. This is a very ominous looking passageway down. More prawn suit materials. Well, not materials, rocks. Wait, is that? No. This whole area is just like, you have a prawn suit? I really highly couldn't recommend enough you come down here. <laughs> what is this rock formation? 
Oh, just limestone. I was hoping it was something different, but it was not. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? We just continue on deepen. There's really a, a nice calmingness to this, though. Even though it's kind of barren and very uh, solitude feeling, it's nice. And I have absolutely zero doubt that I want to run into something that's going to be like, get off my lawn. But I'll enjoy it until that time. Warning. Entering ecological dead zone. The prospect for survival is fast approaching zero. Ah! Okay. I just got sucker punched for that one. Jeez. Huh? I don't even know what that was. There's... What? <laughs> uh... Are there invisible leviathans? Like, not even ghosts. Literally invisible leviathans? What the heck? I mean, you spooked me. But also, what the heck? Like, I'm not crazy, right? You saw that too? What even was that about? I saw a fin. I... I think I saw a fin, but literally that happened so fast. And the fact that I didn't see anything else afterwards is really startling. Like, what the heck was that? Where was that? Who was that? Most importantly, why was that? Hello? I mean, I'll go back the way I came. I just want to know what the freak that was first. At least give me something to understand. Huh. I don't know. Ah, there you are. You are just really fast. Like, okay, can I get the world stop spinning for a second? <laughs> so, kind of less impressed the second time there. It's like it's designed intentionally to where you can't see it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry for that. Like I saw it's mall, but not really anything else. It just kind of took me for a ride and that was it. I'm actually a little surprised too for uh, how terrifying that literally was. It didn't really do a lot damage wise. Didn't feel like anything like the uh, Reapers. <clears throat> hmm. <I> mean, <clears throat> sorry. Let me get a sip real quick. My throat's dry. I was gonna say, if anything, it kind of felt more like the. Uh, the biter fish from the first game. The ones that would like take you and roll you. Uh. <clears throat> It'd be the equivalent of the ghost leviathans. Oh, okay. I, I didn't really interact with them all that much. Like, 
they were kind of a nuisance in the lazy in the uh, Lost River, but they were never anything like actually problematic for me. Designed to deter you, not grab and destroy you. Oh, that's fair. Just looking to see if there's anything neat, you know? Although, you know, I didn't even realize, so just now I did come down to 400 meters. It is pretty far down. I heard something just now. Huh. You know, I just realized something else, too. The creature doesn't even have to be, like, big. Now that I'm realizing it, the creature is actually, it's, it's an illusion, not the creature itself, but what it did, like the way it rolled you, rolled me, making me think of the uh, Reaper Leviathan. It's not, it doesn't even have to be that kind of size creature. The water currents here and the size of my sea truck right now just made it to where literally all it has to do is contact me and I spin. Like, even right now, I'm kind of spinning, just hanging out, you know? Oh. Hi. So you're who I saw. But yeah, it's just a pretty... It's actually a really cool illusion that the game gives there. And because of the water pressure and, like, everything rotating and spinning my uh, truck around... It just makes it seem like when they hit me, it was like super importantly powerful. I like that. It's a good use of environmental factors. Gotta admit, they said it was an ecological dead zone. I didn't realize it was this dead. There's just like nothing. Not even secrets. At least not secrets that I could see at this point. And I, I don't feel audacious enough to run out and see if there's another void to go dive into. <laughs> First one had lots of deers as well. Yeah, no, it did. I agree. They they both have that that uh, not not issue, but more realism than anything about them. Not everything needs to have a sparkly object. But I will say, having that sparkly object does uh, make it more impressive when you do find something like potentially this, whatever this is. No, oh, nothing. I was hoping that might have been something, but it was not. In truth, the fact that I haven't found a shiny object of some sort is in fact the reason why I'm so exploring this barren wasteland. Because it's not necessarily about actually finding anything. It's more about the hunt of just knowing. That's a pretty steep one. Also, this music is so amazing. The atmosphere 
are so good. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that it, just by skirting the edge, you know, eventually I will find something pretty cool. Like, maybe this? Ah, it's copper. Man. What a letdown that was. Oh. Let me fix that real quick. Thank you. Yeah, let's let's keep gradually descend descending down here and see what happens. See if we find anything. Cause doing something like this is actually how we found the Kappa mine. I don't know if I've got you. Hmm. Scan the fishy time. Arrow ray. Neat. Ah, the lighting. We're going down, 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 down. You know, one thing that they really did better in this one, for real, for real, is uh, the lighting. They made this game super dark, and I love it. It actually is making me do things like take stock of using flashlights and stuff like that. Oh, I said that was something I could grab. It was not. Also, I really got to appreciate this very gradual descent we've been doing. Would not have expected that I am getting close to 500 meters down. That is so cool. Well, that's somebody angry. That's an angry boy. Somewhere. I heard him. Didn't see him though. Dang. Secretly, you know, that's something I look forward to on this kind of a depth of uh, the deep excursion is finding like a hidden wreckage or something. That'd be really cool. Let's see, let's continue sco uh, scouting this edge here. Ooh, we are in the deepest. I'm saving. We're in the deepest and I feel uncomfortable right now. Nope. What are you? For the sake of knowing what you are, what are you? Oh. Oh, what are you guys? You know what? Okay, first of all, you got me hung up. Secondly, we are going to do something incredibly dumb. Come on. Come on, get. What? It didn't. Meh. 
It gave me like half of a second to scan it. That was lame. Whoop. Oh, there's multiples you Oh boy. This is gonna be a reload. Yeah, this is definitely a reload. <laughs> okay. Quit and reload and we'll go straight back up. One of them would have been cool because I was going to scan it, but I saved in the void. It'd be fine. Probably. They're pretty cool, though. I gotta say, I do like them. They're really neat. <laughs> All right, straight up. There's no hesitating here. There is just up. <laughs> and if up is not a valid direction, then we will attempt to go back the way we came from. There we go. That's better. I mean, sure, we're still on the edge of the void and they're probably still hanging around, but... It's kind of a shame, though, that there were two of them, because I really would have taken the chance to do the dance like I did in the first game and try and scan one, but a second one came along, thus making that impossible. Speaking of scans, though, first of all, save. Secondly, have I actually scanned one of you? I don't know. I know you're not particularly good at that. Oh, I have scanned you already. Okay. Hmm. I saved in the void and I escaped the void. I also avoided a save doing that too. <laughs> uh, oh. Hey, we're looking at an uh, actual biome down there, not just the void. Let's check it out. This is so pretty. The fact that we can just free come to, freely come down here now is nice. Ooh, listen to that soundtrack kicking up. Yeah, this area is really pretty. Tornado plates. Underwater mushroom with an inner cage surrounded by a swirling chitin structure. This mushroom's wildly unusual morphology is not currently understood. Can I take one back to my base? Nope. I was hoping. That'd have been neat. Oh, what about you guys? Oh, you're just the same kind. You? Eh. You just look like table coral. <laughs> and that's just a big rock. Okay. Oh, we're back around this guy. Okay. Yeah, we, um... Uh, okay. Okay. Last time I was here... One of those things that just tried to eat my face, or actually did eat my face, 
was circling this. So, here's the real question. Can I go inside that? Are we ready to find out? Don't need that. I do need that. That takes a long time. Jeez. Yeah. Um. There we go. Maybe? Eh? I'm curious, what? Whoa. Whoa. Holy. Okay, that is freaking cool. So I wonder if I could build a base in one of these. Interesting, though. These are really, really, really rad creatures. So that's the top of it. Okay. Ah, spiral plant. Needed that for something. I forget what now. Oh. 30 seconds of oxygen. Getting too enraptured. <laughs> and that apparently does not give me oxygen. Oh. Huh. Rising temperatures detected in mineral rich fissure below. Where? Oxygen. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's way over there. Uh, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in! Let me in! Jeez! Huh. Okay, that was cool, but we're saving. Also, for real, the top hatch on the sea truck is dumb. I hate it. <clears throat> I mainly hate it because the power cells and the upgrade thing are right next to it, so like... You have a much greater chance of clicking on one of those than you do of getting in. And that's annoying. <clears throat> but, anyways, these things are really cool. Uh, I wonder if there's a crack in here that I can find and get down. I feel like there probably is. Oh wait, what's that? No. Inventory is full. Uh oh. Well, that's no good. Um we'll drop that. And give us some space back. Well, there's lithium, which I need. Huh. Hey, little guy. Let's sell. Let's sell. There. Triops. How cool. Thermal plant fragment. Here we go. We got one out of two. Not bad. Where's the what's the catch? I'm just waiting for it. There's gotta be a catch somewhere. Oh, no catch. The artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. 
gonna be real, that's fascinating. But I need to get back to my thing. Uh, I don't need your knight. There's lithium. That's what I needed. Get in. I mean, maybe I can fit? I don't have a lot of confidence in this. Huh? No, I can actually. Alright. Oh, okay. So, it's more like a... You can... Comma. But it's, you're going to have a long way to get back if you try. I still need that. Okay. There it is. Thermal plant. Magnetite. Uh oh. Hey, boy. Um, where's my thing? Where's my sus magnet? I don't even, I can't even search for it. Mm. Okay. Well, let's keep skirting around here. Let's see what we find. I mean, I see you can get this. Gumi, thank you for pointing that out. Heck yeah. Bunk a catch. Clone ball. Yeah. Hmm, okay. This doesn't appear to lead anywhere. Is that a fragment of something else? No, it is a thermal plant fragment. There, woohoo! We both caught it. Nice. Good work, team. Okay. Let us discuss this. <laughs> that joke was disgusting. <laughs> Spiraling down. Woo. Woo. Ow. How did I get caught on there? So this is just a big... Huh. 
Huh. It's like it's a volcano, sort of. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of thermal plant fragments down here. Uh, actually, hold on. Idea. I have lead. I can do it. Wait. <laughs> what? We're going to do it because, yep. This area actually seems to be safe for the best part of it. Recyclotron. What is that? Recycles items into their constituent parts. Does it really, though? Or is this just the trash can from the previous game? Where nothing actually happened. Seriously, there's so much thermal plant fragment stuff down here. Hmm. So I have a concern. There's all this thermal plant stuff, but it looks like the thermal plant itself is dead. Which is really, really unfortunate. Howdy, howdy. Hey, welcome in, Casey. Good to see you. Is this really just... Man. This would have been so cool to build a base in, but there's no power source. It's all dead. The whole volcanic thing is gone. Aw. No secret villain lair today, I guess. I'm doing great, Casey. How are you doing? Got a new microphone, some new settings. Got my energy back up for doing stuff in general. It's a good time. This area makes me so sad. This could have been something epic. But I said it is nothing. But real talk though, I do need to build a base out there out here. Having an okay Monday. I got in some tech today too. Nice. Care to say what it is or are you keeping secrets for now? Spoil your audience later. <laughs> to build power here, do I? Man. That XL stream deck came in. I was really worried it's not packaged well. Ugh. Well, I hope it survived. I'm glad you got it, too. I wonder if this thing is the reason that the volcanic vent died. I mean, it's within their own possibility. And by the way, I just wanted to say, Casey, look at this thing. How freaking cool is that? It's a giant rooted jellyfish.
I'm curious. How hot is it right here? Not hot at all. Try to stay out of the water. <laughs> well, these things are actually uh, completely passive. So that's pretty neat. Well, hmm. My inventory is full and I must hmm, do something, I guess. I need a vol- let me out. I need a volcano vent is what I need. Yeah, if I can find an active volcanic vent over here, I can actually build a base up. Well, wait. I s hold on. I think I might be speaking too soon on that. Because I don't have magnetite. Still don't know where magnetite is. And I don't even have a way to find it. That's the worst part. Hmm. Yeah, and I know, Kat, you found me, like, a life-saving one in a hidden box somewhere. It's kind of like, ouch, you know? Reaper's wine glass. Reaper's wine glass is an unusually oversized single-celled organism made of three parts, the rhizoid, or foot-like root system beneath the, so the soil, the stalk, and the cap. Its single nucleus is located in the rhizoid. This means that if the bulbous cap is removed or devoured by aquatic fauna, it will slowly grow a new cap. Neat. Or it's down the mine shaft? Uh, possibly. I have gotten significant Im Is that? Is that a habitat? Or is it just plants? Huh. Um, it's possible it could be down the mine shaft. I've gotten really improved technology since then. Oh, it was just plants. Oh. I was getting like, really excited for just a split second there. You know, always looking for the breadcrumbs. Oh yeah, Casey, uh, um, you missed earlier when I was just kind of minding my business and then I got eaten by sharks. Or shark, shark to pusses or shark to pusses. Or Octarks, or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> hmm. That's just bad terrain. Well, let's see what else we can do here. That's very steep and very tall. Well, I suppose there's nothing else that shows us the uh, the ecolo the geological formation of this area, like how it came to be. Which is pretty neat. It's a pretty fun thing. Don't think I've have I scanned you guys? Oh, okay. I must have. Okay. Arrow rays. Okay. Oh, also, when I get back to base, I get to show you uh, my uh, containment bay of sea monkeys. Where 
Where does this one go? Okay, I see you. Man, we are so far away. <laughs> That's a cute emote. You know, it's really amazing at the depth I am right now. It feels so much deeper just based on how like little of things there are between me and the surface. Oh, hey, we're back to you guys. With the eye jellies. The things that drove Cat just crazy. <laughs> For the record, I don't think it was so much that they drove Cat crazy. As much as it was, the cat was trying to give me directions and I was dodging them. <laughs> it was you that were driving crazy. You're the one driving me crazy. <laughs> That's fair. That is indeed fair. That is a big boy. Hi. Oh, okay. Come on. Are you going for me or are you going for it? I can't even tell. Uh. Uh-huh. I don't know. He kind of glitched. I can't even scan him. That scared the crap out of me, but still. Um. Well, this is awkward. Now there's two of you guys that want me. I'm just waiting. The game program is going to eventually let them through somehow. Also, you all are freaking terrifying to look at. Look at the mandibles. Look at the mouths. Send you a picture of this cool little half monitor thing I got. Okay, I'll take a look at it when uh, when whenever it, I I can. Um. I don't know how to feel about all this, y'all. What the freak? Like seriously, what the freak? They are just like. I I can't move. Hmm. I know I'm freezing. I can't get to my thing or I'm gonna die. And they are all glitched. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I wonder. Uh yeah, I can't get to the I can't get to the thing because they're going to literally eat me. I'm just outside of their box. Huh. Oxygen. Oh, I got into it. I nearly died. Okay, you know what? We're moving. And now we're not. I didn't die, at least. But I seriously can't move. <laughs> Another is to stay out of the water. You say another is to stay out of the water. I say I can give you three good reasons to stay out of the water. Also, like, they're just, they're aggro bugged. This sucks. They're not, they're not like trying to move out or do anything. They're just here. 
Can I report this? One second. Let's see. Leviathan. There it is. Aggro. Not resetting. I'm doing what a responsible player does when they find a problem. I reported. Also, to submit, click, uh, click one. Angry. That that is my my response. Angry. <laughs> okay. But well, let's take a moment here. Repair this. You know, there's something I actually just thought of, and I'm curious. No. This is why that button should not be there. I wonder. Huh. So... That's interesting. Turning my light off for some reason. Reset the one for like a split second. This anatomy is really cool though. Like they, they legitimately are very cool. I just wish I had something I could use to like defend myself or distract them or something. To my best of my knowledge, I don't have any such items. Nope. Huh. I'm at 193 meters. I don't even know why they're up this tall. Or this high, rather. I guess it's just because I happen to be in the void? I don't think there's anything to try worth messing up with this. Select this option will teleport you to the nearest available location. So I'll be using your character who's physically stuck in the world. Uh, I don't know what the nearest location is. So I'm kind of worried about that one. Maybe just flashbang him to death. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's take stock of our position since we can't move. Um, so our architect thing down there. Pretty much what I don't want to have to do. Nothing to it but to do it. Well, that's true. But first, I need to get a plan of what I'm doing. And what I'm thinking is this is a shelf I'm underneath. So I need to basically go past this one and then up and hope for the best. It's pretty much all I can think of. Because, uh, yep. <laughs> also, for the record, in case I die here, I hereby are naming you Larry, Moe, and Curly. <laughs> Just want to get that last insult in before I potentially die here. So let's see. There's something interesting here. They... Is 
they actually follow my light? Yeah, there's no juking them. I'm in a truck, not a Honda Civic. Okay, next time that one turns, I'll go for it and see what I can get. Okay. I got the wall. There was nothing subtle about that and not being able to get out. Jeez. I just want to drive. Do -do 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 do Woo! Save me, Titan Hole Fish. Oh, but just like that, they left me alone. That was a hundred percent ridiculous. Yeah, thank you very much for the follow. What about Nissan Juke? I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> thank you so much for the follow, though. You just watched uh, a bug that nearly turned into death. But it didn't. Amazingly. Seriously, what what even was with that programming though? That was ridiculous. You know how far are we are we? We are twelve hundred. What what kind of materials do we have? We have titanium. We have one quartz. Some lead. We're actually in a position right now. We could make another base. I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea. If for no other reason than to just have a um, a better idea of like the world's length and depth. Well, you guys are there's a lot of you guys hanging out here. What you got? Huh? What's over here? There's so many of y'all just hanging around. There's a hole in the ice. Okay, save. Because we're out of that hellscape. And we're going. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Bye-bye. Um, okay, well, I'll admit. There was a hole in the ice. I expected land of some nature. Or a way to land. But, this is really cool. Not gonna lie though, all the times that I wish I had like just a gun or something. <laughs> Man, you guys freak me out. Nah. I think it's the eye thing on them that's the most unsettling part. I think that's what really does it to me. Okay, we're clear above. Now that's gonna eat my face as soon as I get out. Oh, there we go. Go. Dodge. Dodge and weave. What's up here? Creature eggs. Oh. Hardy cave bush. So this is where they hatch. Ooh. This feels very special. Also, I'm going to absolutely take one of those eggs. Oh, apparently the eggs are bigger than I thought. Uh, sure, we have a bunch of silver. Oh, that's cute. It's like 
<laughs> it's vial shaped. Wow. I wonder, could there be a vein in here? Silver. There's the vein, actually. Copper, silver. This is really pretty. Really, really hoping to find a way up out of the ice. Oh, Hark! Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yay! I'm sad to leave my truck behind. But... We just found something cool. Penglings! Hi, buddy. Oh. Whoa, what did we find here? A ladder. That's a rarity. I just sound like something is already trying to eat me. I've been here for like a half a second. spending all our lives in a penguin paradise. <laughs> Good gravy, we are so far away. That was not a penguin step. That was definitely a penguin. What the freak was that? It's a steam vent. Does that mean it'll warm me up? Hypothermia imminent. Huh. Uh, where's my way back down into the water? Give me water! Uh, the, wh what? <laughs> to say that I am well, truly, thoroughly lost is an understatement right now. <laughs> That's a big rig cage. That's a whole lot of titanium. That's a really angry looking monster thing. Uh, I don't want to deal with that. Uh. 
Well, it sounds like it's about to deal with me. Uh, save, 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 save. Can I scan it at a distance? Do I know more about it? Nope, it just immediately knew who I was. Oh god. And I'm stuck on top of that. Okay. Yes, we're. I'm. I'm most certainly dying to this, but we're going for it, I guess. Sheesh. C Q C C Q C. The snow stalker is a bear-like evolutionary offshoot of the aquatic stalker native to the warmer aquatic biomes of 4546B. Behavior. Snow stalkers are typically apex predators in their biomes. They operate in packs and are primarily land-based creatures, but will enter the water to hunt and defend territory. Notable physical attributes. Thick, hollow fur that secretes a thin layer of oil helps keep the snow stalker warm in the Arctic climate. Modified dorsal scent dorsal fin aid in aquatic hunting a cyan bioluminescence on the tongue and tail help the pack stay together during winter storms assessment avoid no kidding if entering snows talk no bleh. hold on need a drink <laughs> there we go avoid if entering snow stalker territory is necessary sources of bright light and unpredictable noises have been shown to deter attacks. Huh. Well. So I, I guess I just chose violence is what you're getting at. What's that? There's like... Are they... Oh, they are all sleeping. This is probably going to go really poorly. Hmm. Why do I feel like there's probably something super rare over here? Fevered pepper tree. The fevered pepper tree produces fruits with high levels of capsaicin, which helps raise body temperature and stimulates blood flow. Neat. I really don't want to have to kill... I don't have to kill their babies, but I see magnetite. Magnetite. Come on, little guys. Let me. Yes. Man, the game is so freaking stingy with magnetite. What is going on? One. One singular magnetite. Huh. Oh, thank you for the head pet. Oh, I just realized I don't have that up. One sec. Oh, yeah. I should probably say, uh, pause while I do this. There we go. wonder. Oh, I can actually cut those apart. Okay. Hmm. I picked the fever pepper. <laughs> hmm. 
Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Okay. So Oh, body heat plus 34. Nice. Okay, so that's all frozen over. This area is just really warm. I don't actually know why. I don't know what's causing it to be warm. Oh, they're up. I guess it's time for war. Ha. Huh. I don't want to do this to you little guys, but I'm probably going to have to do this. Sorry. Oh. Wait. Really? I don't have to kill them. No, nope, never mind. I, I do have to kill them. They seem to be upset. I don't know, I feel like if I can't tame them, I'm gonna have to just deal with them. In a rather unfortunate way. Okay, so I came through that way. Wait, hold up. What is up in this area? Lots of silver. That's the titanium. Okay, what what was the third way here? Or was there actually a third way? No, no. I just want some magnetite, man. Send me a little pink leaves. I'm gonna have to give my truck a jump start after all this. Kind of getting the the impression I want to have to. Uh. No, I still need one more magnetite. Magnetite, magnetite, where are you, magnetite, magnetite? I am exploring way far and way beyond what I wanted to explore, just to find a piece of magnetite. <laughs> Copper quartz. That's handy. Snow Fox. Snow Fox 64? The legendary equipment? I really don't understand why it's quite so cold here. There we go. 
So the stalkers are definitely a thing that'll be a problem to deal with. Um, actually, where, where's my sea truck at at this point? Like I'm. <laughs> Half of mine, detect, stress. Uh, oh, snow fox. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> that's what I was doing all the time in my uh, truck. You know, that thing that's definitely meant to do barrel rolls. <laughs> Yep. Nope. Nope. Oh, the steam vents do warm me up. Hey. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Could be just my imagination, but it seems like the cold definitely affects harder in this area. Snow. Snow. That's probably going to kill me if I jump down there. That's also probably going to kill me if I jump down there. Uh. Hmm. Can I look for magnetite yet? I found it a few times. Oh, there it is. There's a chance, even if it's rather small. <gasps> a magnetite vein. Excellent. So, for lack of having a um, a thing to put here to be like, this is where I need to go. I'm actually going to drop this right here. This piece of titanium, which is now rolling away because, of course, it would. You, dang it! <laughs> you had one job, bruh. Right here. That's all you had to do. Right there. Stay. Stay. Why? Also, why did I just pick up snow? Why do you like this? Okay, fine, we'll have to go with the other, other plan. Actually, wait, we may not have to. Hold that thought. If I can find a steam vent, then I can build up what I want to do. Yeah, sure. Um... 
I can get to, that'd be great. There's light there. Excellent. Okay, so what this is telling me though, I need a steam vent. I assume with a steam vent I can build a thermal plant. One way to find out though. Hmm, let's see, what we got? I don't know, maybe I can just build one just randomly here. I don't... Ah, uh, I don't have aerogel? Have... Gel sacks. It was gel sacks in the previous game. Son of a biscuit. How do we start my PC? I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, okay. Can I build? If I can't do that, can I at least build some form of power source here? Can build a foundation. Can build a multi-purpose room. I need a quartz. Oh, I just saw that I can unpin that thing too. Pin that, pin that. You know, clear things up a little. But anyways, uh, yeah, welcome back, Casey. These guys are so adorable. <laughs> okay, so I took a ladder to get up here initially. But I don't have any idea where it was. I was quite literally snow blind. Oh, is this it? Okay, yeah, that was the letter I took. Ooh. Stock up on flares. From Eloise, Eloise to Quartermaster Joe. I almost, ju I almost just died, man. We're still on the outskirts, drinking my special tea, trying to watch the sunset, right? Which I know is technically against protocols, if I'm not accompanied by my official Altera accountability partner, but that's beside the point. Focus, Eloise. The flares! I knocked out the headlights of my snow fox. Sorry. And I strapped a flare over the dash. I was chilling and it flickered out. Then I heard snow stalker growls like five minutes later. Scared me and I spilled my tasty beverage, found a face. Anyway, I hopped on the snow fox, but I couldn't see. The sun had set, obviously. I could hear them running towards me. I had one last flare in my pack. I got it out and whoosh! All I see are snow stalkers in the light, but what's this? They're scared of me now. I rode out of there. I think it was the flares. We should definitely dedicate some resources to creating more. I got this at some point and didn't, didn't realize. Something out here with way too many teeth. Oh man, where did it go? Where did it go? Things with teeth don't just disappear. They sit and wait for you to let your guard down. 
gonna dart out of the shadows and get me. Hmm. I bet if I eject the cargo modules, it'll give me some maneuverability. Huh. Things I wish I had read before the, the game freaked out on me. All these items and none of them was actually good. Man. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Snow Fox. Woo! What the? All these flares make a circle? <laughs> Copper. Nope. I need quartz. Ow. That's still such a weird mechanic to me that that's all you actually have to do is just not be directly in snow and you suddenly warm up. the wind. Oh, I mean, that's fair. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. I seriously have no idea where my truck is at this point or how I can get back to it. What? What the? What is that? Huh. Oh, I wonder if that's the penguins below me. Could be. Hypothermia imminent. We're good. Kind of, it is a bit weird though how when even when the wind isn't blowing, it's still so ruthless. Whoa, that was almost my face. So what? What are those? Oh, oh, there's penguins that apparently have bioluminescence. I see. Oh, here we go. Steam, save me. Ah. I knew what I heard. They can't be. I see you. Uh-uh. Not fighting you in the dark. Nope. Oh, 
Also, they're nighttime hunters. That completely makes sense why the flare strategy works on them. I think I just went in a circle, but I'm not really sure. Hold on. Gonna need that flashlight. There we go. What is that sound coming from? Keep hearing it. I have no idea where it's coming from. What? And here's a thing. Um interesting. Well, run for the geyser. Ah, steam bath. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. But we're already in the dangerous weather, my friend. Well, I just found an accidental place. It's so silly. I'm half paying attention, but both times I was pushing something on my soundboard. You ask about a sound, I was a little confused. <laughs> That's funny. Also entirely understandable. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I, I think I saw it for the first time. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Frogliner, 300 meters that way. Oh, well, there's more magnetite. I bet I can't really get to it, but. I just need a reliable power source, and I will build up a base here. Okay. I should know what those were. Okay. So, with one piece of quartz, we could finish this up. Because one piece of quartz is all we need to be able to build the, uh, the solar panel that we need to start things off. Doesn't look like there's any here, though. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh. So, these two places are actually connected, I see. This is such a labyrinth. I actually really like it though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do want to say I think that's a bit of a complaint that I have with the game though. Um, minor, I guess, but the fact that you have to just, like, outright leave your truck for basically what amounts to an entirely different segment of the game is kind of silly. Like, it, it just kind of feels unnecessary the way they do that. So, wow, there are a lot of ways to get out of this place. To get this play out, get out of this place, but none of them seem to lead to my truck, and I'm sad about this. That doesn't go anywhere. Okay, we're back in this volcanic room. That goes that way. Mm. No, that was that was wishful thinking for a second there. Sonic bubble here. Back to the truck. Back to the truck, baby. So I'm trying to do, but man, say it's difficult to do is pretty much a huge understatement. Cause it's there, 300 meters that way. I'm just trying to find a way down, but say it's hard to find is definitely an understatement. And that's another exit. Actually, no, I tell you, but that's the same exit. The 
this way, maybe? Where's this go? Somewhere markedly different. That's a good start. And we're back here. Um, literally my whole plan is I'm just trying to go down kind of over but mostly down and I just not having any luck with that Past the room full of jelly eggs. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was like a tunnel that had jelly eggs in it. Like, I'm, I remember it. I just don't know how I got there. That's the, that's the key. That's the chunk of it, you know? Like, did I start high and, or did I start low and then go high? Is that how it happened? I don't know. I'm just going like the same circle. Which actually I guess could lead to the problem of maybe this this is just not the place. Also, I need to change our battery. Okay. So the frag liner is there. Three hundred meters that way. Yeah, I'm busy here. Ow! Ow! Oop. Fine. CQC it is. I swing faster than you. Yeah, that's right, jerk. Meh. Man, I say. <sighs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, it's 300 meters below me. Can I? Oh. I see it. Can I get to it though? There we go. Woo! Okay, so here's actually a really important question. So this thermal vent is actually where I could do it. Excellent. But I don't have the materials. Still that problem. Mm. Oh, that's new. I guess we're just, this is our life now. We just kind of run around here and maybe we find something. Oh. 
Oh. Hold on. <gasps> he almost did not. Oh. Nope, we're stuck. And. He's about to freeze. There's no vents anywhere. No vents or shelter. Oh, that was lame. <sighs> Gonna be honest, that whole experience is lame. Like, I don't even understand how I got where I did to suddenly be like that. Oh, how? Found your sea trick. Yep, I found my sea trick for the low, low cost of a magnetite. The literal one thing that I can only get there, apparently. Huh. Uh, man. Um. Okay. Well, even though I lost magnetite, I did get a piece of magnetite still, so we're still technically positive on that side. Oh, I am. I am apparently free floating in here. That's uncomfortably close. Okay, we are trying this again. And this time, we are not taking death as an answer. Okay. Cool. That's all silver. That is not what I want. Frag liner is that way. Okay. Alright. We're going to try this again. Um. I don't think my frag liner can fit through there. that? There's something glowing over there. Just oddly glowing scenery. Huh. Well, let's see. Maybe we can. Maybe I'm being uh, pessimistic about this. Okay. Here is a dead end room. Here is pretty open space, actually. Okay, so I, I so hate how whiny and turny this place is. I am determined, though.
Now, okay. What is right here? Silver. Not useful. What is up here? Oh, there we go. There's our magnetite. Awesome. So now the next question is going to be, we have the thermal plant, which needs aerogel. We need quartz for that. We're like halfway to both things. But the important thing, though, is that we do have magnetite now. That is exceptionally important. Uh, Snow Fox, it's a bike and it hovers. Thanks. All right. Um, where's my thingy? Pathfinder, there it is. The place holographic pathfinder disc used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. Max 20 discs per path. Okay. That's not, that's not too bad. Aerogel, that needs gel sacks and rubies. So we're going to go deep to get that again. Uh, we have our lithium. Can we the plastic ingots now. Looks good. Okay. So now that we have a pretty fair amount of magnetite, we can do a couple of things. So, good. Not having rubies, though. That's the tough one. Um, actually, hold on. I think the game has an option for me for this. That would be under e not equipment. Where is it? Where is it? Quantum walk uh, lockers. Advanced wiring kit and an iron cube, which can then do that, which is pretty neat. So what we're gonna do then? I thought we had a gateway, but um put that on the list and I kind of you know I'm kind of thinking about it if we have the magnetite already we don't really need to go there we can just call it good here just head back to base and make the stuff we wanted to make I mean, of course I say that, but, you know, now I'm not going to be able to find out how to get out of here and get back there. Because that's just the nature of the beast. Okay. No, we're fine. Alright, Jelly. I apologize, but I need to get past you. Oh, hey, thank you very much for the follow in Salting Parks. Hope you're having a good time. Feel free to chill out, relax, and watch me fumble through this. Uh, cat, you might you mind dealing with that if you could. Um, okay. Okay. 
Thank you very much. Okay. So we have a bit of an intriguing proposition here where we have the quartz. We could start the base now, but I think we'll grab the quartz, but I think we'll be passing on the rest of that for the moment. Drop that. Go. Okay. Alright, let's try not to deviate too much and just get on our way there. That was my fault. Ran into me. He did push into me. Alright. So let's get back to Freiburg. Oh, what a harrowing journey this has been, but I, I actually want to say that despite the, the world purportedly being smaller, I'm actually quite impressed with how difficult it is to ma to navigate still. It It's like I noticed with my playthrough of Subnautica after I reached a particular point that a lot of the game really became, um, not in a bad way, but it became a, look, 20 minutes here, back to base. 20 minutes here, back to base. Welcome aboard, Captain. Life is like a hurricane here in Fragburg. <laughs> okay. So, Quantum Locker requires advanced wiring kit. We need to make two of those so that we can do this correctly. Wiring kit and a computer. Ah, oh, not again. Always the always the coral. That's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, go. Wow, you guys got big. Hi. Oh, I guess I can't fit anymore. There we go. New egg in, in the town. So how do I even... Oh, I guess I literally put it in my inventory, though.
Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see here. Check those atoms into their constituent parts. That legitimately could be really helpful. Hmm. Where's my... There you go. That'll work. I can put all that there. Uh, let's see. For magnetite, I only need two, I believe. And the quartz, well, we'll see on that one. I collected a sea monkey. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'll let you out. Be free, sea monkey. And off he goes. You guys really are just born and birth doing that, aren't you? Jeez. That's fine. I found it cute and endearing. Okay, it's okay. So for our little excursion here, we man, I'm loath to do it, but I think we really do need to make one of those kits or one of those quantum lockers or two of them. Uh, I don't want to. That probably gonna have to. Um. Okay. Need to plug a battery in here. Okay, advanced running kit on cubes. Yeah, that that just sucks. I don't, there's not really a better way to even say it. I'm out. Have a good one. All right. Thank you for hanging out, Casey. Appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. <coughs> uh, creep vine seed cluster, though. I can make the Pathfinder tool. That could be useful. Uh, beacon. Definitely want to get one of them. So let me grab that copper out of here. And there's my gel sex and ruby. And there's my aerogel. I can now make a thermal plant. Woohoo! Mm. All right. I actually have the materials to do that. That's fantastic. Do you want a beacon? Beacon's going to be to put at the jellyfish cave entrance so that I know how to get there in the future. And I do want coral for, or not coral, uh, copper rather. Oh, do I not have any copper? No, oh, I guess I don't. I guess it ran out. Huh. <clears throat> Unless it was, uh, oh, there's one. Okay. Dropping a power cell. 
What else do I want to bring with me? I need the lubricant for the snow fox. Actually, I need to put that on my list here. Snow fox, there we go. Needs a battery and two magnetite. Okay. So it's going to be a little bit tricky to, to navigate this, but I think I think we can do it. We have batteries in here. I wish we had that, but we don't. Um, plastil ingot and is that a wiring kit? Okay. And the plastil ingot required do, do, do. lithium. Cool. Chug, 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 chug. It. We can now make our storage module for the sea truck. We can finally start hauling. Woo! All right, let's make sure. Did I already make a beacon? I did. Perfect. Okay, so now we need the mobile vehicle base so we can build that. Yep, stuck. There we go. It's been a long road, but we can finally build the storage module. Oh yeah! Uh, downside, we need to get another piece of lid though. Whatever, it's worth it. <laughs> Thank you, cat. Thank you. What? Uh, oh, that was rude. Excuse you? How? What? <laughs> wow. I just got screwed over on that one, didn't I? Man, this game is just really freaking me over today. Okay, apparently note to self. That was a bad place, I guess. How do I even get that back now, though? I'm going to have to go build a dang propulsion cannon to be able to get my, my thing. If so, I am so nettled. Try to grab the handle. What handle? There was a handle. On the module, okay. You know, I could have crouched. That would have worked. Nope, wait, there was something. Huh.
Uh, I can't pilot it. Well, we are well and truly stuck, I guess. Um... What do I got to do to make the propulsion cannon? Just to get my item. Why would I save? You know, not really. I guess it's just a normal reason. It is what it is. Uh, wiring kit. Okay. Easy enough to make. Because I'm determined to make it work. There you go. That's the reason. I will not let weird bugginess deter me from getting this out. I could have reloaded, but I don't know where that would have would have been. Besides, this will be fun. Oh, okay. About as fun getting stuck in the door there. <laughs> grab item oh lovely it won't let me grab it what the freak dangerous weather approaching seek shelter Hmm. Well, so much for my idea, I guess. Yeah, maybe I can use the truck to do it. Not here for long. Just gonna have to pull some Alaskan road trucker nonsense. Well, here it goes. Most expensive toe ever. It's not even a toe. It's a push. Nice idea though, cat. How do they connect? Huh. It actually drives surprisingly smooth. Oh, okay, until random object object 56 gets in the way, I guess. What? Do you have to, like, put it in the dock or something and then it connects it? Okay. Hmm. 
I like that they each have their own marker. That's that's nice. I mean, I tried to line it up, but I don't know what that meant, I guess. <laughs> Let's see if it does work, though. Nope, it did not work. Instead, it just caused... A wreck. Wow. No. No. That was absolutely ridiculous. What the freak was that? There is only so much I'm willing to put up with the game. And that. That broke the line. <laughs> I literally can't believe that just happened. Okay. Oh. Apparently I also forgot to do that, but the good news is I can save some materials. Screw getting the propulsion cannon, and instead I'm just going to use my truck. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, I can't believe that doing this right here broke my storage unit. And go. One more. Go. Okay. Hey, grabs on the corefish. Oh, here's an important question. Is this damaged after I did that? Is that why we have a problem? Oh, yeah. Apparently me nudging on my sea truck took one third of its life. Man, dainty. There. It freaking worked this time. <laughs> Save. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see. Don't need to do that anymore. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, I don't really have anything else that's necessary at the moment to get. Yay! Yay! Look at all this. All this storage. Excellent. I... I just have this feeling that I'm all celebrating about it. And I'm about to get wrecked by the most catastrophic thing. I just, I can't help it. It's just there in the back of my head. All right. But for now. Okay. Let's see. Materials. Hmm. 
materials. Let's make sure. Yeah, you. Okay. And then in this one, um, I think tools is sufficient to put here. Keep that one on me. That one's a maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I, I think that works. That's good. Tools. Gotta say, it was a ridiculous pain in the butt to get this, but... Nice. Save. Because that was awesome. Okay. So, we can go super deep. Or we can go back to the jellyfish cave and try to navigate that. I think I'm of the opinion that we're going to go back to the jellyfish area and drop a, uh, a thing there. Oh, that's cute. You got a little health bar. Yeah, we're we're gonna go all the way back to the jellyfish real quick, just because I wanna I wanna post that up there. Try to be gentle on the wildlife, but um, mistakes happen. <laughs> Oh good. That barely did any damage to me. Okay, gotta get a feel for this because the uh, storage module does seem to be rather large. Stuck there. All right, that's the trade-off. Yeah, I mean, it's a fair trade-off. I don't think it's necessarily problematic. Oh, now there's a second set to exiting it. Okay. Alright, we need quartz. Copper. Quartz. Quartz. Alright. We have four quartz. That's enough for a little bit of building and also one of the solar panels. Yep, that'll be sufficient for now. Oh, wait. Hold up. Copper. Titanium. Of the things that we were lacking on the other side, I believe it was quartz that was the significant problem. So, hopefully, that resolves that. Wait, what? What? No. What just happened? I just wanted to get into my 
in my vessel. But hello, can we connect or whatever this is? This is why the door being on the top of the city truck is dumb. <laughs> There's like six buttons of things that are right here in this little tiny hitbox. Ugh. Okay. Alright, trying to avoid all dim jellies. These to the best that we're able. Can go through the back door now. Oh, well, hopefully that's the case. That'd make life a whole lot easier. Okay. Don't think this is the path. Nope. Well, at least we're still pretty maneuverable. I'm sure you give, give it one more module and it won't be anymore. This feels more like the region. Right? Yeah, here we go. Cool. Yep, there's juveniles. That's how we know we're in the right area. You know what? I feel like. Let's get this closer in. We want to make absolutely certain that we are at the entrance before dropping this beacon. Don't think we're there yet, actually. We're close. We're not there. There it is. Perfect. Okay. We shall name this Jellyfish Pass. Pretty cool name. It's efficient, I think. Hey, right. back into the sea trick. This is a place for another day. I did have fun over there, though. These guys are really pretty. They creep me out still, but they're really pretty. Alright, we're gonna go to that alien distress beacon. If we can figure out how to get there.
That is shrapnel. Let's see what we have. Silver, okay. I feel like we we needed some of these. Okay, grab a couple of them. Oh, I don't have my scanner equipped. I don't have my scanner at all. Oh no. Oh, you're right. Nice. Yeah, getting in the back is way easier. Okay. Tools. Can't believe I put my scanner in there. That was silly. Got a little too, uh, too zealous with my putting stuff away. All right. Laura. Oh. There we go. But it was just a mobile uh, mobile vehicle bay. It's not a big deal. Do 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 do. Nope. That's shallow. That's not gonna work. Actually, wait, hold on. I'm going to turn that out because I think I remember you saying that last time that the alien distress call origin is not anything important. We will go back to cap in mind, though. We definitely can uh, get some more stuff out of that place. Uh, none to, uh, to do it. Let's go. I sure is where you met Alan. Yeah, I think I remember you saying that last time. Because I remember I was like, that was kind of weird that it didn't trigger, you know. But yeah, I, I vaguely recall you saying that, though. That's why I went ahead and just turned it off of my uh, thing. Copper, lithium. Okay. Oh, this particular uh, side of the slope had a pretty good amount of stuff. Cool. Nice. Oh, missed one. All right, these materials I'm gathering up are going to work very nicely for establishing a new base. Don't know where yet, but it'll happen. Oh, right. Hold on. Go. Drive some more materials up in here.
Okay. That's interesting, but not where we're going. Uh, Cap of Mine, as I recall, oh, that's Jeffish Pass. Cap of Mine, as I recall, was at the very base edge. There was an entryway, and then from said entryway, there was a tunnel, like a, a ravine. Vestal to station Kappa. Okay, there's jellies. Alright. I think it is down this way. Gonna skirt the mountain. I mean, it could not have been like super incredibly deep, is what I'm thinking. Because if it was, I wouldn't have been able to get there as early as I did. I, I want to say that this uh, uh, probably about 250 tops is about where the entryway was. Wasn't 250 the uh, the death module that I had at the time? One fifty? Was it that high? Well, yeah, it could be. Very well could be. Oh, yep, here we go. We're not there yet, but we're this is definitely the area. Okay, cap of mine is down there. So that we had to follow the path to the left. Oops. Ah, uh, that doesn't feel right. Oh, no, we have gone too far. Nope. Nope. Right the way we came. Uh-uh. Not having it. I have seen enough of your ugly mugs for one day already. Now. Oh, okay. I I end up coming at it from the opposite side as it threw me off there. Gotcha. Cool. All 
All right. First order business. Storage is empty. Good. Silver, don't care, don't care. Silver is like kind of ish important, but eh. <laughs> Titanium, titanium, titanium. Those weird glow worm thingies. Door that I still can't open. Sure, take the titanium. Why not? Go. And yes, we are going to be clearing all this up here, and then we're going to proceed down. Silver, don't care. Right, looks like that's all the materials that are here. All right, back to the truck. We're going to fill it up. And then we're going to come in for the deeper dive. Actually, you know what? The truck might actually fit. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen we'll, we'll check this out here and see. Also, let's save because we managed to find the cap of mine again. Which is nice. Let's see. There is a very slight possibility. Nope. Darn. Well, here. We're going to do this so we don't got to deal with as much junk. Okay, prawn suit stuff. Go down. Rock puncher. That mother puncher. This area is surprisingly cleared out. There's like nothing. Wait. Almost nothing. Thermal plant fragment, okay. Okay. Looks like we might have a plant in here. Wow, there is a lot of materials down here too. You're about to throw a rock at me, aren't you? Uh, 
Okay, so we do have these guys to be considered of, but I kind of feel as though we could definitely build a platform down here. Oh, just a fish. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. All right, so let's plan. We wanted to build a base down here. So we are going to need titanium. We're going to need lead. Uh, that's lithium. So titanium, we need... What does the thermal thing require? Magnetite and aerogel, okay? Gonna need quartz, magnetite, more titanium, aerogel, okay. So we've got enough for a thermal plant. Cool. We don't have any lead for foundation, which that's a pretty big problem. That feels like a really awful oversight there. Yeah, we have lithium, not lead. Dang it. Um, okay. Hmm. Without lid, we can't build our foundation. Without that, we can't build, well, anything. We'll see. We might we may get lucky here. There may be some lead. Okay. Not necessarily a very basic base doesn't need a foundation. That, that is possibly true. My experience, though, has been uh, bad when it comes to that so far. That's a big chunkers here. Is that? Yes. Ho. Oh. When I come back here, buddy, we're about to get into a crab brawl. And yeah, I confirm there's no lead here. Well, there's no lead that I've seen anyway. Oh. Oh wow. Wow, there's a whole cr ooh. Okay. I've seen enough. Okay. 
All right. Oh, that's funky. So I guess it doesn't work that way? Huh. I'm gonna have to take that guy out. <laughs> it's gonna be ruthless, but I'm gonna have to. Yeah, it was green, but the positioning for everything else didn't really line up, though. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. There it is. Still works. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna come down. I'll keep working on it. It's not a big deal. Just wanna make sure I get my energy built back up first. Okay. Also, I am so excited to have the prawn suit unlocked. Alright. So, here's the deal. This may go well. This may not go well. <laughs> This is about to be the legitimate crab brawl. Let's see if I can actually kill it. Save. Really? Wow. Surprisingly easy to kill, actually. That, I, my disappointment is measurable, my day is ruined. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these, these thermal plants in this one are a little bit weird. Like, oh, 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 there we go. And what was probably the weirdest shaped thing ever. <laughs> oh, hold on. Can we at least build? Our multi-purpose room. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Nope, we're about to die. Well, we accomplished two things at least. Oxygen. Uh, there we go. I can we just kind of fly through it, just bleh. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our thermal plant down there. Now we need to build a multi-purpose room. Go. Cool. Do those two things. And uh, a hatch, which we have quartz for. And then we should be good. And that thing's so dorky. Works though. What is. You're not gonna seriously tell me that all of this is ineligible because of random things, are you? Really? Really? Ugh. And deconstruct all this crap that's here then? Man, that's that's lame. Wait, what about right here? Wow. 
Why not? Why not? Why not? Dang it. Fine. Give me my thermal pellet back. I have to rebuild it somewhere else. Also, anything here? Nope. Ah, there. Can I just not build a room? Is this the the curse? Seconds of oxygen remaining. I guess. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, yep, I had to go back up and keep trying again. Um, when you say smaller compartments, what did you have in mind? Because I thought, like, to start a base, you basically just had to use a multi purpose Warning. room. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. An X to your I. Oh, yeah. You know, I didn't think about that. You're right. We can just do that. Okay. Sure. Just build our own little Titanic diving submarine down here. Nice little eye tube. Totally crushed death safe. Okay. I know, but I want to have a bed and breakfast. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, dang, you're right. Okay. Power restored. All primary systems online. Hold on. We're going to do it from this side. There we go. Ah, uh, home away from home. <laughs> um... Mildly concerned by how weak that power is, though. It's not even going up. It's just one. What's up with that? Why is it just one? Congratulations. 
you wanted to build a base you didn't have to keep going up here will give you exactly enough to live be grateful yeah that's true you can make a bed and vents down here don't seem to be very hot so you're not getting burnt by them. that part is true So, oh, <laughs> so for now, I mean, we'll leave that one alone. It's, it's a place to come back to and that works. But longer term, we really need to find a hotter vent to use. It's you or me, pal. You or me. Man, so many diamonds. Okay. Oh, right. Was there a new log that... Yeah, here we go. I, I forgot to play this one earlier. A bit late, but here we go. What was that woman's problem? The one in the exosuit. Like I need to say which woman. And what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew their terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera, though. Did she meet Sam? Hmm. Oh. A sealed supply crate. Oh. Where? <laughs> Well, and so we continue. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. There we go. Ah, I got stuck. Oh, snap. We got three power. Three power. <laughs> Okay, we actually need a wiring kit and all that stuff. Uh, we need copper to make that. I think that's fine though. We'll continue down here. Continue examining. Yeah, I guess in the context of the story of how things were going, that finding all of these magma vents, like, burned up, pun intended, and, like, useless, 
actually makes a lot of sense if this is an abandoned mine. I hate to admit it, but it does make sense. Although, truth be told, I only hate to admit it because that means that there's a, log a logical reason why I can't do what I want to do. Oh, hey, Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. <laughs> Pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility <laughs> extracts every mineral Sorry. your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. Wow. Parvin has uh, got a bit of chip on his shoulder there, don't he? Okay, we had an artifact that way. More rock, guys. Ooh, the, this extends deeper. Oh, wow. We're definitely getting into the meat of it now. New technology acquired. Headlamp. Nice. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Oh, you know, I just had an idea. First of all, heck yes. Prawn suit time. Uh, secondly, in the power category... Uh, where are we at? Ion powered headlamps? Dang. Nothing says safety like sticking an ion cube on your forehead. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the electrical stuff, how that requires gold and titanium. Possibly. Possibly. <clears throat> Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Uh, wait. Alright. No, I need to go back up to the thing because I need to switch this battery out. tools we have one battery well actually we have more than one battery we also have that <clears throat> we have lots of diamonds we don't really need those as much there we go uh, the silver we don't need right now. 
to make a fabricator. We need two copper ore. Okay, do we have copper? I hope we do. We have two copper ore. We're in business. Let's go. I like it when a plan comes together here. So we do that and we can make I'm pin that one for now. Alright, so we can build the fabricator up, so that way we can do that. Battery charger requires copper wire, which is going to require two more copper. Hmm. That could be a problem. That that may end up becoming a problem right there, yeah. Same with the wiring kit, though. I don't think I have any more of those with me. And a wiring kit. Okay, never mind. Wiring kit, we're fine. The copper wire, on the other hand, well, there we run into an issue. Because we need the copper to make the fabricator. The fabricator. Uh, yeah, because the, then the fabricator makes the copper wire and the wiring kit. Okay. Got to work it through, but we're getting it. I so wish I could just drive this thing here, though, man. Like, it would make everything so much easier. So much easier. Alright. So here's the thing. We've cleared this out now. Make sure we don't have any other hidden ores hanging out. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, this this power gain is just atrocious. Well, for now, one little tiny step at a time. Titanium ingots, new. Wiring kit, yes. Did it? Wow, I was able to make exactly one item. <laughs> Man, that's depressing. Uh, hold on, gotta go outside and run on the treadmill a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing else here. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
it seriously had just enough power to make one item. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Well, low the Zan to say this. We're definitely going to have to relocate because this one is not working. Hey, congrats on the go bet. Do I have enough to make a tube? Yes. Good. Oh, did I grab my laser cutter? I did. All right. Is that a battery? That was a power cell. Nice. Do the other recipe for power extender? New technology acquired. I do not. Oh wait, power, power extender, the pole. Yes, yes I do. Um, currently my issue with that is it doesn't have enough power to do literally anything. Like it had enough power to make one item and then it was out of fuel, out of energy. News was unexplained ion signature linked to the Aurora's disappearance. An unusual ion signature on the edge of Altera space has scientists baffled, and some have drawn a connection with a similar echo detected around the time of the Aurora's reported crash landing. How the two might be connected is an open question, and many in the scientific community maintain they are unrelated and explained by natural phenomenon or even Altera secretly testing new technologies. Fuel has been added to the fire by Altera's refusal to release its full data on the Aurora accident and recent indications from sources that they will be revising up their li oh, wait. And recent indications from sources that they will be revising up their list of expected casualties without revealing where this information is coming from. It has now been months since the sunbeam went quiet with no new information. The salvage teams continue their long journey to 4546. <laughs> Just in case you find a hotter source further down. Yeah. No. I, I agree with you on that. That's what I'm sincerely hoping for. This is just a big resource cache. That's that's all it was, all it is in the end. Huh. I expected there to be more here if I'm honest. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. I mean there's uh, hold on. I know there's that thing over there. And we're going to go check that out. But first, you gotta go back to the base. I 
I do wonder if I can pick a different one to work with. If they're all the same or not. Let's see. Warning, emergency power only. Just kind of all of these look the same to me though. Dang, that one's at 25. That's even worse than the other one. Okay, well, I guess that's, that's the best option. I do want to say, you know, this has actually been a really fun expedition down here. Oh. All I saw was that claw thing, and I was like, what? Another alien artifact. This artifact could provide useful information. Processing. I can visualize a location where we may find an important component for my body. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. A stark surface landscape. Dangerously cold. Carved spires stretched to the sky. Huh. Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed. This, this cave system was a very, very fun venture, but ultimately it didn't really go anywhere. kind of ended rather abruptly. Just kind of trying to be careful here. Because they'll definitely come back down here to uh, use the prawn suit and gather materials. For sure. Like, there's a lot of good materials that a prawn suit can do. Not to mention, this massive supply of diamonds is pretty cool.
Oh. There's one. Back into the temporary base. Well, I mean, it was cool though that we did that. Yep. Father Shulman's cope with the loss of memories. Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that? I'm warning you. If you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of the Leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so... We can't even be aware of what we're losing, moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. That's it? That's the end of the conversation. Okay. Alright, well, Captain Mine's been fun, but it looks like it's time to deconstruct and head on up. Apparently we are going to head on up and then deconstruct because I ran out of inventory space. Whoops. None of his other species know about the conversation? Yeah. All right. Oh, that's right, because I have a giant creature egg that's taking up inventory space. I wonder. But luckily, I don't have a storage compartment big enough for it. Uh oh. Ah, uh, I'd have to do. <laughs> Prom suit jump jet upgrade. Yeah. Okay. That one's full. That one is mostly full. That's fine. Just so we can clear out some space here. I have to reorganize it later. Alright. That's all the storage space that we have. Completely filled up. I do wonder if these other two, uh, other like four or five actually doors open at some point. That'd be really cool. Like unlock more area to, to look through. We were never here. 
Yeah, the cap of mine, it's it's interesting that they found the body and stuff here. Or the uh, relic or whatever you want to call it. But it is a little bit mildly disappointing too because it's it looks like it's such a massively big location with so many things going on. But really, it's not. I mean, there's stuff going on, but... You would think that this is a cave system that would just be like Jellyfish Pass, where it's huge and just massively winding and all that, but it's, it's not. So I'm just kind of like, wow. <laughs> um, what did I need for the sea truck upgrade here? Hold on. Exterior modules, no. No. That's awesome. Getting that puts me ahead of the curve because I have no idea where, where the uh, nickel ore is. Prontuit storage module. Nice. Okay. Fabricator module and sleeper. I don't have anything for yet, so I can't do anything with that. Uh, the prawn suit, though, I should be able to make soon. Soon. <sighs> Alright. So I reckon I'm going to put on my trigger hat and going to make my way back to where I came from. So the Delta Station dock is there. My inventory is not full. So we can do a sidestep there. We'll, we'll go check that out. We're, we're going to go to the Delta Station dock just so we can get the full haul out of this. Go. 384 that way. Please excuse me. Oh boy. Why do you guys always show up like right when I come through this specific patch? Dang it. Leave me alone. Oh, there's another one. I feel like there was a sea truck dock here, wasn't there? Somewhere around Delta? There's. Oh. Does that not count? No, that's just a platform. Okay, I guess it is not in fact a dock. Hmm. So, asking the important questions here, if they don't have a dock, wh where did the guy make deliveries? Huh. Gonna need the flashlight, flashlight. Oh, flashlight's uh, not here. Well, crap. There we go. Sure, this works. Uh, 
anything to scan. Oh, trash can. No, I don't want your stupid water. Oh yeah, these are hot springs. I forgot about that. Shrub nut. Health plus 10. Edible. Pass. No shrub nuts for, the, for me. These plants are so nice. I wish I could grow some of them. Banglings! What's up, little dudes? Hmm. Looks like there's something up there. I was hoping, but nope. No. Just some snow. Don't mind if I do. And you're bright. Ah, uh, my eyes. Crystalline sulfur. I don't even know what to do with that stuff. I have so much of it just hanging out. Okay, that's already been used. Okay, so we've come through here. I'm just running in circles because you never know what you're going to find. Like gold. There you go. Can I scan y'all? Oh. And it's hard to scan these guys.
Oh. Must get Man, they're so difficult to scan. There. Jeez. That was difficult as heck. There's a lot of gold here. Battery and a neutral block. Well, fair enough, though. Got a battery out of it, that's pretty good. Is there somebody to crouch? Okay. That just leads down to that point, so back up we go. There we go, on up we go. I wish I could deconstruct this stuff. Get some materials out of all those wreckage just hanging around. It'd be nice. <laughs> be like, well, I mean, they don't need it anymore. Okay. Looks like I was pretty thorough about getting through all this. Okay. Alright, uh, well, that was uh, a bit of a wasted sound there. quite a distance actually Whoa. oh no 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 oh that was close
We're fine. See? Nice toasty plant. Warm your rat right up. Nah, barely hurt. This will probably be more than barely hurt. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's save and uh, see how this goes. This might break my legs, but we'll see. Uh, oh, actually, that wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I too can be a, a uh, Skyrimmer. Wee! Wee. Wait a minute. What? I swear that happens sometimes. I'm just be like swimming along and suddenly I see the icon for scanning something, but there wasn't anything to actually scan. That same sound right from the old game. What is that? What what sounds like? Sounds like metal clinking. Uh, I noticed it's like something with your boots or, well, not <laughs> boots. It's something with like your foot gear because it does happen fairly often. Like when I was even in the snow plane area, it did that. I was just like going along and then clank. And it's like, I'm in a snow field. Clank. I wonder if we can get to this artifact real quick. Nah, that'll be fine. Toes but a scratch. Hmm. That's my inventory. Eh, it's okay. Alright, alien artifact down there. Supposedly down there. Down, down, down. There we go. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint, 
Spin a fish. Okay. So that that was a whole lot of nothing. notice that there is so much gold in this in this one no. nope okay I give my stuff. Just giving her a good old gander. Nope. Okay. Cool. Alright, so... That seems to be all of his objectives for now. And no, no, there's one more. Friedberg. Alright, back to Friedberg we go. You know, I, I really do gotta be honest, I think the the pacing in this one, it really is just kinda all over the place. But, I mean, I'm still having fun. There's, of course, been some issues, but overall, not terrible or anything. Okay, that's a lie. The three Leviathans glitch was pretty borked. Oh, so that's how that works. Cool. Okay, what am I even building next? Is it, it's going to be the prawn suit. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so plasteel ingot. Oh, barely can make ion batteries now. Nice. Ah, uh, freaking table coral. Okay. Needs lithium. Well, well, I say this. We've been going for about five hours now. It's pretty. It's been pretty good here. So I am going to go ahead and dispatch with my items here. Disperse my items. Is there room to be able to put stuff in there now? Anyways, I want to put away my items here. A couple lockers probably do the trick.
see if we can get this right. Fair enough. That'll work. Alright. Let's continue our dumpage. <laughs> those, okay, those need to go on the charger. That can go in there for now. That's fu That's fine. There's an egg that I want to hatch. Right, man. Get I gotta say, getting the uh, sea trucks storage compartment is absolutely fantastic. That is so much. Curious to see what this egg is going to turn into. Well, they still haven't finished eating everything here, so okay. Back in, we're good. I need to build another one of these. But now that I'm doing it, it's, it's so much fun. Inventory is good. Okay. I'm definitely going to make this a me of tomorrow situation. I'm figuring out where to put all this stuff. <laughs> empty. Empty. Empty and empty. That's all I want to see. Cool. And then that is full. And here we have the most radioactive thing in the game. This closet full of ion cubes. Alright, so we got the materials for that, but we're not into that right now. Um... I do want to make another lubricant. I don't know if we need more rubber. I feel like it probably wouldn't hurt to make another one. And I don't need a power cell. A rebreather versus a headlamp. I think I would take the uh, rebreather. Bone suit. I can pretty much make that the depth module upgrade. I already have that. Yeah, we're looking. Oh, no, I don't have that yet. Okay, we're looking pretty solid actually. I uh, need to plug in my batteries. So let me unload those.
All right, we got a whole bunch of batteries to charge. Oh, and one that's fully charged. Take that off. Place there. All right. So this has been a pretty nice stream. It's, um, there's some shenanigans. There were some what the F even is happening moments, but it was actually a lot. It was actually pretty good though. We made a lot more progress. Uh, a couple of minor complaints about the game, but nothing too big. And one of the worst ones was it dropping my, mo my C chart module on ice like that which actually ended up just being really funny. Just like, how do we move it? Did you pull it? Didn't work. Did you push it? I can't push that. What about your truck? Truck can do it. Okay. And go. And just ramming speed and it just popped it loose. It was pretty wild. <laughs>